hello everyone so today i am back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you how i make my all white party flyer i had actually made this flyer probably like a month ago and i seen that so many people loved it so you know i was like i'm just be nice and a bit well yeah just basically be nice and show y'all how i basically made this flyer and i'm gonna go ahead and get started Okay, so you know, the first thing you need to do is go to create a design. And for most of my flyers, I always use Instagram posts. So go to that. Mm -mm -mm. Let me make this screen bigger here. Do, 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 do. Let me make it a little smaller so I can like actually see it. Okay, that's good enough okay so the first thing we want to do here is figure out what we want as the background so you can like this is going to be an all white flyer so i want to make everything white as possible everything like some other words will be black but yeah okay so the first thing i want to do here is find like a background that i can use maybe like a white um let me see let me just type in I can just type, let me go to photos and type in white background and see what comes up. White background. Okay. <clears throat> Scroll and see which one of these that I want to use. I want something like a luxury. So let's type in luxury. Let's type in luxury and see what comes up. So that's like the kind of background I, I really want to use. <clears throat> Ooh, that's nice but that's not it's not giving white party well all white party mm -mm -mm. let me see here no that's too plain it's too plain okay so you know i'm just using one that i already got in in my uploads on Canva, so i can use one of those Let's see if i can find it here I think this is it right here yes <clears throat> so this is the background that I will be using let me close that out and let me stretch that some stretch it some more bring it back down of course I'm going to pull it up pull it back up okay <clears throat> and well that's not exactly how I want it because I don't want the whole ceiling showing so I'm going to bring it back down and I'm going to change the brightness on it pull that back up so I'm going to go to edit image and y'all will see in a minute how I basically fade the edges. <clears throat> so what I want to do is bright, bright. I mean, um, yeah, basically brighten this up some. Um, I don't want it too bright, but bright enough. Make it a little more wider. Let me see here. Yeah, I think that right there is good enough. <clears throat> so the next thing I want to do here is I want to find my models. So I'm gonna go back to uploads. And as you see, that's the flyer that I'm creating right there. But I'm going to go, so this is one of the models. So I'm going to click on her. I'm going to put her right there. <clears throat> I'm going to go to edit image. Remove background. And size her up. I'm going to put three, <clears throat> three of them in here. Or three models so yeah then I'm going to add an image again so I want to brighten her up a little okay so that's good enough and I got to go and find my other models so I want to go to I have my models right here and I think she's one of them so I'm going to go to add an image remove background I'm going to put her right there. Y'all going to see in a minute how I made the bottom disappear. 
So everything blends in together. And I got to go and find my other model. <clears throat> so go back to my models. And I think she was one of them. So I'm going to do the same thing again to remove background. If y'all hear any noise in the background, it's my AC. My AC just turned on. So if you're wondering what the noise is, it's my AC. So these are my models. And I also found these on Pinterest. I don't want her too tall. Put her behind her a little. I think I need to make her a little more bigger. Okay, so I think we're good here. Okay, so we have that. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the blur. So I'm going to go to back to elements. And I'm going to type in blur. And I have show, shown this in previous videos on how to do it. So therefore I don't have to keep explaining how I do this. So let me close that back out. Put another one here, another one, make it a little smaller, another one, or you can either use a transparent gradient, but it's a certain way that I want this to look, so I'm going to, um, so that's why I'm using the blur element to, um, try to fade the picture out but you can use transparent gradient to do it like this also if you want to because there's other ways that you can do it and if you want to use it I mean I'll learn how to do it you can go to one of my previous videos and I'll show you exactly how you would do it what other ways that you can do it so it don't have to be exactly this way you can find other ways to do it like I said I shows it in my other videos see so now you see that the, the sharp line is gone from this background right here and it looks so much better and clean clean up okay so the next thing I want to do here and this this part you don't well you won't be able to find in Canva this is something that I did I well I basically created in Photoshop but if y'all want some 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 uh, some tutorials on Photoshop or how to create certain things, I'll be more than happy to do so. But I'm looking for this exact sign that I had up here. Uh, let me see here. Um, it was an all white. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so this right here is something I created in Photoshop. But like I said, if you want some t tutorials on how I did it, I'd be more than happy to show you. Just leave a comment down below to let me know. But this right here, it you can make something similar to it. Like if you want go to frames and like get a um, silver glitter and put that in the um, letter frames you can do it that way but if you want this it will have to be done in photoshop so it's not this right here was wasn't anything that i did in um camera everything else was done in camera but this all white part right there so what i'm going to do is bring the brightness up on it a little so it don't look too dark and i think that right there is good enough okay so we got that and I think I want to add like add some bling to it so let me go to my clip arts and I'm trying to find it and find my flare so what this is is a flare so I just add my little flares to the end 
like that. I'm gonna add another one. You won't probably won't be able to see it, but I want to at least make it look a little blinged out. So that's that. And so the next thing I'm going to add, I want to add like party under here. I'm going to add go to my text. Uh, text here. And I need to find like a text that basically says, well, not say, but find a text that will go great with that all white. But I'm going to space this out, but I'll show y'all how I do that also. So let me close that back out. Put it on all counts, and I want to put party. Hmm, why didn't it do it? Try this again. There we go. Oops. So it's party, and I'm going to go to this button right here. Just go to the on um, button besides effects and click on spacing. And right here it has letter spacing. So I'm going to take that all the way over like that. And I'm going to make it a little bigger. I might change the font on it because this one is uh, just a little too big. And it's not how I really like it. So I'm going to change the font on it and see what font may go better with it. Okay, I don't like that one either. And as you can see, that Canva basically recommend well, I don't recommend fonts that you can use with your flyer, but I don't too much like that one. So I'm going to try this one. Mm, nope. I don't like any of them that they're recommending, so I'm going to keep playing around with it until I find something that I actually like. I don't want anything like too bold. I guess that right there is all right. I don't want to spend most of the time trying to make trying to make this all about that so so let me see if I can uh, no it doesn't give me the option for that okay so we're about to just move on you could just put party right under it and just let it be okay next thing you want to do is put the date so I'm just going to put what maybe Saturday so I can put the day of this party is going to be Saturday. I don't know why it does this. So let's try this again. Saturday. And so it's going to be Saturday. So let's put, mm, I guess, what? what's today's date? Saturday. Let's put June 18th. Saturday, June 18th. Okay, so that's going to be that. And next thing I'm going to do is just put the time. So let me duplicate that. So I'm going to put the time. And this is going to be from nine, uh, let's put 10 p.m. until okay so we got that and this can be at mm, it could be at any club whatever club you want to put under here so let's just put any club any club so we have that i'm going to make the time a little smaller so let me make that a little smaller There we go. I'm going to bring that up a little. Make it bigger. Okay, so I think we got it here. So it could be any club. And at the bottom here, then you can put. Hold on, let me get this in the middle. You can put text. Put text whatever number this is a fake number so just put whatever number that you have in my well the number that you will be using so text phone number whatever number you have for your flyer or your club or whoever then just put four more information 
Hold on, I'm taking that all wrong. There we go. Let's see if we can make this bold. Um, try it again. Yeah. And yeah. So that's basically it, and it's very simple and easy to do. So, like I said, the only I did everything was done in Canva, and this right here I created in Photoshop. But if you would like to see how I created this, just let me know down below in the comments. And again, thank you for coming to my channel, supporting me, watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay blessed and God bless.